what up guys? Now, we've seen before this expression, actually is the Arrhenius equation, it's Fante Arrhenius. And we talk a little bit about this pre-exponential factor, or they call it frequency factor. Actually, I like to call it pre-exponential factor because it's what it is, it has not that much meaning. But they also call it frequency factor because generally it's about this time. So this is, you know, time generally when you divide time. It's frequency. And it's an uh, first thing first, it's an empirical relationship between temperature and the rate coefficient. So it's empirical. It's not a real value. It's more like we want to relate this with this. But if we do that, we have k. We will see that we have one correlation. So if we want to get out of this correlation, we need to find this value here of A. It depends on how often the molecules collide when all concentrations are, let's say, on a basis of one mole or one molar. And depends on whether the molecule are properly oriented when they collide. So as I told you before, you have A and B, and you know our final product is B with C. Well, of course, C needs to collide with the side of B. If you find out that C is colliding with A, you're going to have no reaction. If you actually collide it with B, you're going to have a new reaction. So that's the pre-exponential factor frequency. The units, as you can see, are identical to those of the rate of reaction constant. So, because this is a natural number, let's say it has no variables, and you know that this, let's say it's, uh, I don't know, gram moles per minute to the minus two, uh, you will see that this has the same units as this value here, because then you will not have any quality. So you got, I don't know, gram moles and minutes here, you're going to have also minutes and gram moles. So you have to square, you're going to have to square. You have it, I don't know, multiplying, you're going to have multiplying. So just be sure that you have the same units, guys. And that's why I like to tell you that this is more like an exp exponential factor. You cannot have the frequency factor of these units. Well, sometimes they don't make sense. For example, something to the minus, let's say minus to the minus one, this value here, uh, is frequency, okay. But what happens when you have got, I don't know, to the minus two? That makes no sense. So that's why I like to call it better pre-exponential factor rather than frequency factor. And they also tell you that A is the total number of collisions per second. Just to let you know, collisions that led to a reaction are not. So if A and B collide but didn't react, this frequency factor is supposed to, uh, to account that. Or if A and B collide and they form, it's supposed also that they are accounting that. But actually, I think it's way more complex number. Is or the defini they they try to give you a lot of definition. But just if you are in engineering, you want to probably just know okay what's a little bit about it. And I really expect you to use it rather than to know what what's it. And the next one we're going to see is this letter E the minimum energy that must be input to a chemical uh, yeah, chemical system with potential. Let me do this in another video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. 
Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.